Okay, today at Form Fun Shop, uh, we're going to put together a brief video showing you how to password unlock iPhone 7s and 7 Pluses using the new IP Box 3. It's a new piece of technology. It's made by the same company who made the original IP Box, and it's a password brute force tool. Now, the difference between the old IP box and the new IP box, the iPhone 7s have to be flashed with a piece of special firmware using a bit of special software but it'll still retain data. Now the software, we'll get that up on the screen. Now it's fairly easy to use, it's in English as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to flash and jailbreak and we're going to go to pro flash. Now it's important before you start flashing your iPhone to make sure you're going to use the right firmware for the iPhone you're working on. Now this iPhone is an iPhone 7 and it's running 10.3.2 and when we flash these we have to use a version slightly higher and you can also downgrade so if it was 10.3.3 we could flash it with 10.3.2 but for this instance we've got 10.3.3 sorry we've got a 10.3.2 iPhone and we're going to flash it with 10.3.3 firmware. Now when you're picking your firmwares it's important to use the right one too so get the A number on the back of your iPhone and make sure you use the correct type of iOS firmware for that particular iPhone. Okay we'll explain that a bit more in a moment. So first thing we've got to do with this software is import a firmware that we're going to use. Now I've got my firmwares organized nice and tidy so we'll go in iPhone 7 and my iPhone that I'm working with is an A1778, also known as an iPhone 9.3. Now we're running 10.3.2 on the iPhone, so we're going to flash it with a version higher. We're going to go for 10.3.3. So we'll load that firmware in. This is the important part. You've got to tick this box to retain the user's data. That's very important before you do this work. Now to flash the phone, you need to put it in DFU mode, most people know how to do this already. So it's basically holding this button here and the power button here for 10 seconds or thereabouts. And then let go of the power and keep hold of the volume down. It's alright, it's failed, I'll do it again. <laughs> I never seem to get this right first time. Let's try it one more time. That's looking promising. Yeah, we've got it in DFU mode now. Now the easy way to check as well on the software, it'll say DFU mode on the left hand side. Right, so all we need to do now is just double check we've got that retain user's data while flashing ticked and then we press the flash button. It's going to warn you that sometimes data can be removed. Now, we've flashed probably about eight phones before making this video and we haven't noticed any data going missing. It doesn't mean it can't happen. Uh, if they, they put this reason up, there may be a reason behind it. So just do some testing work first before you commit to doing a live job. Okay, I'm just going to press yes. Now it started flashing it, now that's going to take about 10 minutes. So what we're going to do, we're going to pause the video and we're going to come back and show you the special mode that this type of flashing puts the phone into. And then we'll show you how to work with an IP box. Okay, so the flashing's finished. You can see on software that it's flashed without any errors. And you'll notice now that the iPhone's gone into a very strange mode. So white screen saying press home to recover. It's important that you don't press home, because that will put you back to square one, you'll have to flash it again. So disconnect your cable, and then it's time to start using your IP box. Now, what we'll do first, we'll connect it up to the PC and just show you the software side of things quickly. Uh, like I said, we've only had uh, our IP boxes about a week, so we haven't had much time to really play very much, so you might get some better methods than what we have. I'm going to close the flashing software as it's no longer needed for now. 
and then we're going to run the English version of the IP Box 3 software which is fairly straightforward now to give you an idea how things connect up you get a micro USB direct to your PC and that goes in the port next to the iPhone port that's on there don't plug it in to this port okay use this one what that'll do that'll power the the box up and you've just heard it pinging on the USB as well so the software picks it up now so you've got an idea what this panel means I'll put them together and you've got three panels and the top panel is to program the settings for this one middle for the blue one and the bottom one for the pinky looking one okay and you've also got three ports on your iPhone on your IP box 3 so you can brute force three phones simultaneously using different code methods that you might want to program up on this panel differently so what we're going to do we're going to work on the bottom port which is the pinky colored screen on here so the first part of this is the type of scan you want to do now the one you most popular is a continuous password which will start we can tell it to start from zero 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 in fact I'm gonna switch that just to four digits rather than six and then the end one would be the nine 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 we've picked iPhone 7 already there is also a method for the old IP box which is the iOS 7s uh, for the iPhone 5s which you're probably all familiar with but we're gonna leave it on iPhone and the unlock timeout we leave on automatic and what that does is basically it sends a code every time the iPhone loops uh, and it'll detect using the light sensor on the uh, on the IP box of when it needs to send that and um, what we'll do in the end we'll just write the settings to the box and that's been written now you can also read settings as well so the right setting buttons there just while we're on the software you have got some tools on here where you can generate faster passcodes as well you can import old ones that you may have used on IP box one and then there's a firmware upgrade tab as well which you can upgrade to the latest version this one's already upgraded as we're already on here okay so we programmed that IP box and we're going to use that bottom port and we can close that software now that's no longer needed okay so we're going to show you quickly how to connect up the iPhone to the IP box 3 as I said if you leave micro USB in there and that'll power it you can also use a lightning cable as well to do the same thing uh, we've got three sensor cables and these sensor cables we've got three because we've got three different panels for programming so you connect this up here Now you'll notice on the end of these sensors you've got a blue one, a green one and a red one. And similar to your panels you've got a green panel, a blue panel, although it's a pink panel. We're going to be using the bottom one to do our work so we're going to use the red sensor to match. You'd normally fasten this sensor down using some tape to kill out ambient light, some electrical tape is good. But just for this demo I'm just going to use a little bit of blue tag just to keep it in place. And you'd have it at the top of the screen there. Okay. Then you've got some special USB cables. These are different to standard iPhone cables. Standard iPhone cables won't work. But you get three of these supplied with your box. And we're plugging it in the bottom port because we're working on the bottom panel. And what will happen is we'll connect this to the bottom of the iPhone. it's detected it and you'll notice it starts flashing and what we're going to do we're going to press this button at the side of our panel our pink panel to commence the brute force and what it will do it takes time it'll send a code and then it'll try to recover data in the iPhone and once that's completed then it'll send the next code and the code it's going to